Hey everyone, this is Lenny here. Time for a brand new trailer reaction and this is one of the big ones. We are going to get into Ridley Scott's Gladiator 2. Now, how is there a Gladiator 2? Didn't Maximus, played by Russell Crowe, die in the first Gladiator movie from 2000? Yes, yes he did. So what is this movie about? I have no idea. I just know Pedro Pascal and Denzel Washington are in this. I am assuming that Pedro Pascal is probably the gladiator in this movie, but we'll see. I know nothing about this. Again, like I said, because Maximus died in the first gladiator movie, I have no idea what direction this story is going or how things are going to play out at all. But obviously this is Ridley Scott, so I'm going to be intrigued. I'm going to give this movie a watch no matter what. The guy created Alien. And at the same time, Gladiator from 2000 was a really great movie. Was it best picture worthy? I mean, that's debatable, but it was one of the best movies of that year. So if winning best picture, I guess, isn't a big deal, but that's that's another conversation for another time. Ridley Scott is still, you know, one of the top filmmakers in the world, even though he's like in his 80s. So we're just gonna get right into it and check out this trailer. So if you're ready to check out the trailer for Gladiator 2, I'm ready, let's go. I remember that day. I never forgot it, that a slave could take revenge against an emperor. Where were you born? Okay. I don't know. I never knew a mother nor a father. You will be my instrument. Who are okay, you? Okay, so... Where is Denzel playing? Is he playing like a Did slave trainer? I wonder if he is. The greatest temple Rome ever built. The Colosseum. Because this is what they believe in. Power. This definitely looks like it takes place in the gladiator world. General the same color palette there and everything. There are yet still to come. Rome has so many oh, subjects. Wow, this is... She must feed them. They can eat war. Turn slaves into gladiators, the gladiators into free men. You have something. You. I knew it from the start. Did you now? Rage. And rage is your gift. Pedro Pascal is swole in this. Come on. What the fuck is the rhinoceros doing here? Together, and when it charges, break for the wall. What is this? And he's already skewed one person that's just the blood on his horn. Oh, Jesus. Whose head could I give you that would satisfy this fury? The entire Roman armies. Too much. <laughs> Too much. The general will do. Oh, so is Pedro Pascal? And okay. Give it a push. <laughs> we make it out alive. All right, all right. No church in the wild. Ha ha! indoors. Flies on the lips of a priest. <laughs> Belong to Maximus. Thanksgiving disguise is no, a feast. To you. All right. What is the dream of Rome? The people are not free. They're using no church in the wild for the soundtrack. That's hilarious. Control an empire. Who will not waste another generation of young men for their vanity? Strength and honor! This is our own creature, Tiro! Tears on the mausoleum floor. Blood stains the Colosseum doors. Okay. The gods of Vulcan! So Pascal is the villain in this. Okay, this is interesting. Oh, Jesus, that did not look good. Okay, that was the trailer for Gladiator 2, and yeah, that looks that looks interesting. The the thing that kind of concerns me is sometimes when a trailer does needle drops that seem to just not fit the movie. That's when I get concerned. So I love Jay-Z and Kanye West No Church in the Wild 
from uh, from the album Wash the Throne. It's a great song. But is it really the best needle drop that the producers or the marketers uh, at Paramount could think of just because there's a line about like, you know, blood on the Coliseum floor? Was that really the best thing they could come up with? So it was just, it's just a weird needle drop to, to use for a movie uh, about gladiators in Rome. So that just kind of threw me off a little bit. But yeah, so this seems to be um, Paul Mescal is the gladiator in this movie. And he must have witnessed Maximus when he was a child and saw what he did. And that must have inspired him. And so this is really crazy. We're getting a lot of battle scenes. We're really expanding this world here. That looks like Ridley Scott is doing. So we're getting big battle scenes. We're getting sort of an expansion of the slave trade in Rome, it looks like as well. Denzel Washington, I think he's a slave trader or, you know, the, the one that, uh, that trains the, the gladiators for the Roman Colosseum. At least that's kind of what I'm getting. Um, I might be wrong, but that's kind of the, the vibe I'm getting here. Uh, so, and, and then Pedro Pascal looks like he works for or is part of the, the Roman army over, over there, as part of the, the emperor's um, army or council or something like that. So, yeah, I thought that Pedro Pascal was going to be the gladiator. I didn't realize uh, until uh, after watching this that, oh, he's the villain, which you don't see a whole lot with, with uh, Pedro Pascal. And the other thing, too, that I just want to mention with the trailer, I almost wonder if it gave away the ending. That last shot, I wish they kind of didn't have. I get why in terms of marketing and promotion, it's a great final, like, you know, shot to, to like, get people to go, oh my god, I mean, that's what I did. But at the same time, after watching it, I was like, that's the end of the movie. That's the end of the movie right there you just showed us, right? So, yeah, you know, I, I mean, especially with, with the conflict anyways. So there's, there's some things in this trailer that I like. The production design looks great. The cinematography looks outstanding. Denzel Washington looks like he's having the time of his life. So there are definitely things that, that I do like, but there are other things uh, in this trailer that does have me a little bit concerned in terms of, uh, in terms of the, the movie. But, but, this is Ridley Scott. And if Ridley Scott is on his game, this could end up becoming a classic movie. When Ridley Scott is on top of things, he is one of the best filmmakers in Hollywood, still at like 80 years old. So we're going to see what this uh, movie has in store for us. And we're just gonna see how things play out. But yeah, those are my initial thoughts and feelings on the new trailer for Gladiator 2. What did you guys think of the trailer? Share your thoughts. Leave your comments, like the video, subscribe to the channel, and don't forget to hit that bell icon so you can get notifications as well. Thanks a lot, everyone. Take care.